and the day finally has arrived, we have TyFlow Pro. It's the first commercial version of this popular particle system that, well, I will not say that it's only a particle system anymore, it's a BFX toolkit for 3ds Max. More than 25 modifiers that improve procedural modeling inside 3ds Max. We have conform modifier, an improved bend modifier, push modifier, a slice, weld, loop, particle skin, relax modifier, and so much more modifiers that are excellent. It has as well maps to work together with particle systems, helpers, objects, and others like improved viewport preview creation, that is awesome. Then yes, we have as well a particle system that has blown away everyone with how fast can deal with millions of particles on the fly RAM caching, ease of use, it has a cloth solver, physics solver, grain solver, BDB tools, super fast Boronoi system, cannot beg with fume effects and chaos phoenix and a lot a lot more things that are totally thing for artists. Typhlo has been on an open beta for three years now, it's awesome to think that we started this journey three years ago, and during this time everyone has been able to use Typhlo for free, we saw the community on Facebook to grow to more than 20,000 users, with hundreds of tests uploaded every month. The tool has been growing on an incredible fast rate, seeing more than a couple of updates a month with fixes and new tools added constantly to the tool. We saw Typhlo being used in commercials, mapping shows, motion graphics, ArchBees, and recently in movies as well. And today it's an awesome day, we have finally Typhlo Pro, and the price is $495, with $100 discount if you get it before 1st of March. With it you get one year of free updates, and you will be able to keep using the tool after that indefinitely. The license is not locked, so it's fixed to one machine, but Tyson said that it's working to get other license types for studios. But as well, we have a free license available, with all the features of the Pro version, like the 25 modifiers, that only alone the 25 modifiers are awesome, but there is a limitation, obviously, that there is no multi-thread available, no GPU acceleration, and no tie cache. But other than that, if you are a single user and you cannot pay for the full price, you will be able to use Typhlow and the excellent system that it is. And on top of that, if you prefer, you have as well access to the beta version, that the beta version is not node lock. You can use it as well for commercial projects that has no restrictions on velocity. The first exclusive features of this Pro release is a select operator that basically allows you to select particles directly on viewport. I just love it, it's something that uh, I absolutely needed, and you have it on the Pro version. And there is as well a new type flex modifier, improving the native flex modifier in 3ds Max that a lot of people was asking for, with caching and multi-threading. And as well has add an instance material override to type cache objects. But if we saw the same development that we saw during the beta, we will see pretty soon much more things. Let me know in the comments if you start using Typhlo so far and for what you are using Typhlo. I saw Typhlo used for BFX, but I saw more and more Typhlo used on other areas, reaching a lot more 3ds Max users that usually don't work on BFX directly, but because the ease of use of Typhlo, they start doing awesome particle simulations, or revealing effects can be on a building, or crowd systems, or advanced scattering systems in 3ds Max, because Typhlo can be used for so many things. If you never used before Typhlow, I would suggest first to download the example files that you have on the official website, Tyson covered a lot of common uses with very well explained tutorials. The Facebook group, that it's called Typhlow group, has as well a lot of updated setups that you can download that are totally free, and if you want more advanced setups, Arman created incredible ones, I will have the links below, like the ones that you can see here, creating a totally procedural uh, city, incredible. And on YouTube you will find a lot of creators doing tutorials with Typhlow, you have Alan McKay, you have Redefine FX, Eddie Studios, Fabien Escudero, FX Peer Studios, CG Aguilar, in Spanish you have Adán Martín, and you can find tutorials from me that I have multiple ones covered on my YouTube for free, and on my Patreon I share with my Patreons exclusive tutorials. So that's all for now, I hope that I can announce much more things with Typhlow, I am super excited, I think that Typhlow 
uh, brings a lot of new tools to 3ds Max users. It's exciting to see this huge community that Typeflow bring together. VFX, it's much more easy and much more fun now that we have Typeflow. Thank you a lot, Tyson. And yeah, guys, if you like this video, remember, share it with your friends, give a like, give a comment. I love comments. Uh, remember to subscribe if you like it. And thanks a lot to all my Patreons that helped me doing these videos. Remember, if you are one of my Patreons, recently I created this video with Typeflow where I cover in three tutorials how to deal with this in a production case scenario, how to control all the elements. Thanks a lot to all my Patreons that helped me supporting doing these videos. Thank you guys. See you soon. Bye.